This is the i9500 SIM and memory card reader replacement video. And we're going to do this without actually pulling the board today. So you can see I have my replacement SIM card reader. And this is something that unfortunately goes bad sometimes on the Galaxy 4s. So what we'll do here is begin by prying the rear panel off. And just go ahead and remove that. And inside we'll have our battery, micro SD card, and SIM card. If you have them, make sure that you remove those before you proceed beyond that. And we're going to have a total of nine Phillips screws in the back of the case here that we're going to remove. These things can be a little bit stubborn, so make sure that you magnetize your driver. And even after doing that, if you've got them backed all the way out, they may still stick in the case. So if anything, you can always take a pair of tweezers to remove them. Or if you're certain that they're completely released, you can cover them with a piece of tape just to make sure they don't come flying out of the case, uh, out of the housing when you pry it off. So once we've got all of these removed, what we're going to do is pry right along here. The seam on this one is just below the front half of the phone. So you just go in here between the bezel and the front. And you can see if you just very, very carefully go around here, you don't need to go in very deep. And be very careful around your charging port, your volume buttons, and your power button. We don't want to snag anything on the inside. And just very slowly work your way around. You'll see that the entire rear piece, this panel here, will release with uh, very little effort. Um, overall. So once we pull the back panel off, we're going to, of course, uh, heat up this, re um, the old piece before we remove it. it has some adhesive. You can see here the new piece actually comes with adhesive also, which is kind of helpful. So before we apply that, we'll make sure to remove that little blue piece. And we're going to have one flex cable that we need to disconnect. And of course, we are going to go ahead and heat this up. There's a little bit of adhesive under there. But before you actually start prying underneath there, make sure that you do release the pop connector here at the top. And once that's unplugged, you want to take a thin pry tool and very carefully go between the actual tray and the logic board. And you'll see there's a couple sections here that have adhesive. The one uh, for the closest to me right now is going to have the most. And we'll just very, very carefully go underneath here. Make sure you're not cutting through anything that's not going to be removed. And that will actually just lift right off of the uh, shielding there. And now we'll take our new piece. And what I recommend you do to make sure you get it straight is go ahead and connect the pop connector first. That way we know that that's in the right position. And then if you just kind of take a look at the logic board, you'll see how this fits right on top and just kind of secure that. And from here, what we'll do is go ahead and replace the back panel, put the screws back inside the phone, and then just work your way all the way around uh, before you put the screws in, actually, and make sure the seam is completely seated properly. Um, every once in a while, you have one little bubble that doesn't quite snap in. You might have to put sort of an inward pressure towards the phone to get it to pop on there. Once you get that together, put your screws back in, and you should now have a functioning SIM card and micro SD card reader. If you found the video helpful, hit the like button, share it with your friends, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on Twitter or Facebook. Post your questions in the comment section below or visit gocellphonerepair.com forward slash forum. Thanks for watching.